In this example, I'm going to write an equation of the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals zero. So I'll need two pieces of information to write the equation of a line. I'll need to know some point that it passes through, and then I need to know the slope. Okay, well I have x equals zero, so let's just go ahead and plug zero into our function to find the accompanying y value, and then I'll have the ordered pair. So f at zero will equal two times zero plus e to the power of two times zero. Well, two times zero is just zero, and we have that here and here. So e to the zero equals one. So f at zero equals one. So this ordered pair that we have will be zero, one. And that'll be an x value and a y value. As soon as we write it in point slope form, we'll be ready to put those values in. But before I go there, I need to find the slope. So the first thing I need to find slope is to find the derivative of this function. So f prime of x equals, and the derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of e to the 2x, I'll need the chain rule, and that'll end up being 2 times e to the 2x. So when I plug that 0 in, I'll have 2 plus 2 times e, well, e to the 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 will be 4. And that will be my slope. So I have a slope, and I have an ordered pair. So let's go ahead and write the equation of this line. And we'll do it in point-slope form. So y minus the y-coordinate equals the slope times the quantity x minus the x-coordinate. So y minus 1 equals 4 times the quantity x minus 0. So this will be the equation of the line in point-slope form, and we could easily convert this into slope-intercept form by distributing that 4 and adding 1, so y equals 4x plus 1. So both of these equations describe the same line, and it's the line that's tangent to the graph of this function at x equals 0. Let's go ahead and look at the graph to see what that looks like. 